Well, just after lunchtime tomorrow, a NASA probe will collide with a fast-moving asteroid. Don't worry, though, it's all been planned. The not-so-big bang will see a NASA dart hit an asteroid in an attempt to see if it has any effect on its direction of travel. The asteroid is about half the height of Auckland's Sky Tower. Scientists are looking to find out how effective the technique could be should an asteroid ever be on track to hit Earth. For more on this, let's bring in Nicholas Rattenbury, a senior lecturer at the Auckland University Physics Department. Hi there, Nicholas. This mission was launched about 10 months ago. Uh, can you talk us through what is going to happen tomorrow? OK, what's going to happen tomorrow is this 600 uh, kilogram spacecraft called DART is going to crash into a minor planet, an asteroid called Diamorphus. Diamorphus is about 160 metres across and it is going around another minor planet, another asteroid called Didymus. So there's two of them going around each other as a binary uh, binary asteroid. And so the DART mission is going to crash into Diamorphus and we are going to take a look and see what happens afterwards. The idea is the DART mission is designed to experiment, to look into, to observe, to uh, allow us to test our predictions of what happens when you strike an asteroid with the explicit purpose of trying to change its orbit or trying to change its trajectory. OK, so this hasn't been done before. What are our expectations? Our expectations are that DART will crash into Diamorphus and change its velocity, its speed and direction by a very, very small amount, something like 0.4 millimetres per second. So it's a very, very small change in its speed. But what's crucial is with this sort of science, if we see a asteroid which could potentially strike the Earth long enough in advance, we might be able to send missions like DART out there to intercept those so-called killer asteroids and deflect them in their trajectory just enough, even 0.4 millimetres per second, soon enough in its trajectory, we'll be able to deflect a uh, incoming asteroid away from uh, the danger zone around the Earth. OK, so this particular asteroid doesn't pose a risk to Earth, but is it just a matter of time before we actually need this technology to work for real? It's quite possible, yes. And this is, this is why there are uh, collaborations and groups around the world dedicated to what has been called planetary defence. We know that asteroids have hit the Earth in the past. I mean, a large one did for the dinosaurs way back when. So we know that catastrophic impacts occur, and these have disastrous effects for life on a planet. So we know it's happened in the past. There's nothing to stop us thinking that it could happen in the future. What's changed is that we now have these exquisite observations made by observers around the world. We are cataloging all these uh, objects and we are able to, with those observations, find the ones which could be potentially hazardous in the future. Like I say, with enough time up our sleeve, we can launch missions like DART to conduct these redirection exercises. Soon enough, if you have enough time up your sleeve, you can send out a mission like this to, to deflect these asteroids if they're coming towards us in a hazardous way. Okay, well, hopefully it's all very successful. Nicholas, thanks very much for your time tonight. You're welcome.